Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm talking quietly because my son, Liam, is sleeping right over here. So I'm trying to keep my voice low, but welcome back to a brand new video. It is officially Valentine's Day weekend as you guys are watching this video. In the last vlog, I told you guys that I was gonna share with you what I picked up at Hobby Lobby and Marshalls. It's a very small haul, not a lot, but just a couple of things. And I had said over there, or on Instagram, I think I was like shocked. Why I was shocked, I don't know, but I was shocked that there was like no Valentine's Day items and everybody was like, yeah, because Valentine's Day is literally like here. You should have gone out on January 1st. And you know what? I was like, you know, you're right. And that's just something that I didn't think of. Even though Halloween stuff comes out in June, literally in June, and then Christmas stuff is coming out in literally August, I think Christmas stuff starts coming out. So I should have been prepared. I didn't, but I did happen to find at least one cute garland and here it is. I already took it out of its packaging because I'm going to use it in Liam's six month photo shoot. I just thought it would be cute as like a February theme to put this in there. Guys, today Liam is officially six months old, six months old. How has it happened? How in the world has that happened? I, I can't believe it. But um, before we fully dive into this vlog, this video is very kindly sponsored by Green Chef. If you are unfamiliar with Green Chef, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. They have options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. I am currently eating the vegetarian meal kits. One of my favorite things about Green Chef is the fact that I learn how to cook new things, how to put ingredients together that I normally wouldn't. You guys know I'm a very classic taco, spaghetti, chili kind of gal and Green Chef helps me get out of that comfort zone, but it's easy. That's the other point there is like, it's, it's not too hard for me because I'm not the best chef, guys. I'm really not. So it really helps me kind of broaden my cooking skills as well and just putting flavor combinations together that I usually wouldn't. And it really does save me time and it gives me like, it's a nice treat to eat something nice and new that I love. Green Chef is always changing their recipes, so you'll have different options to choose from every week. When you get your meals delivered, they come straight to your door in a box. Everything's pre-measured, pre-packaged, ready to go for you. The instructions are simple, easy to follow right on the back. And Green Chef has very kindly given me a code to share with you guys if you would like to give them a try. Use my code MindyMink60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. And thank you, Green Chef, so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So guys, today we are going to... Oh, hi! I see you! Little man's awake. Hi! Hi, honey! I see that big smile. Let's go grab the little man. Come here, baby. You want to sit with mama? Yeah? All right. So we were matching the sweatshirt to the matching pants with this outfit, but we got warm. We didn't like it anymore, and we wanted to take a nap without a sweatshirt on, right? Right, so the plan today, also, tell everybody you're six months old. Are oh, you gonna look at the TV back there with the fireplace? Liam, you wanna say hi to everybody? In his time, he will say hi. <gasps> look, <gasps> say hi, say I'm six months old today. Yes, I am. So our plan, like I had said in the other vlog, I wanted to change the coffee maker, take away the Keurig. One of my goals for 2023 was to reduce on the plastic K-cups and just go back to a nice old fashioned drip coffee. I have yet to do that because in my head I was like, right, I got K-cups for Christmas. I've had them over time and I wanted to use them up before switching. That time is coming to an end. And I've already stopped using the K-Cups for Larry's hot chocolate in the mornings and we're using regular uh, hot chocolate packets and then I'm doing a kettle water. So I'm like, right, let's revamp, revamp, let's revamp the coffee station together. Maybe you'll help mama. And I also wanna hang this garland up somewhere. Say so that would be fun and what else did I say we wanted to do? Oh, and I also need to get organized. I need to get the calendar organized. Liam, as you guys see this video, it's going up on the weekend on Saturday. Liam will be starting his swimming lessons. 
this coming week. Yes, you will. It's gonna be really fun and really exciting. And if you ever put your baby in swimming lessons, let us know down below, how did it go? What should I expect? All the fun things. But yeah, I think first things first in order, guys. Let's head to the kitchen. Let's put some tunes on. You wanna listen to some music? And do the coffee station. It's definitely going to be a challenge for me to figure out my uh, my ratio of coffee because usually when I make drip, drip coffee, I make it really weak. So we'll see how it goes. But I also purchased the Blonde Roast, which is my favorite from Starbucks. So we are set, we are ready to go. Hi. What's the matter? Oh no, okay, what's the matter? Ready? You're gonna outgrow this little blanket. Little. <laughs> oh my goodness. Airman. Who's your little dinosaur? Here's what the coffee area looks like at the moment. So yes, this does technically have the coffee pot and the drip, but I don't use it because unless my parents come over and we have family day and we run a coffee, but I always am like, right, it's just easier because the Keurig is right here. So we're gonna store this away and see how this, how this area changes. Are you hanging out in the kitchen with me? Yeah? You're my little helper. new drip coffee maker i got it from christmas my or got it i got it for christmas from my mom and the brand is hayden i think she got it at kohl's so we're gonna run i'm guessing just some vinegar hot vinegar water through here just to clean it or maybe just some hot boiling water and set up the new coffee station this is very exciting liam coffee stations make mama happy <laughs> and we're probably gonna have a lot more room on the counter it's alive. It's alive. Look at that. Say, look at that. Oh no. Oh no. Are we not feeling it? We're not feeling it? No? Hi. Hi. Look at you. You're so cute. Uh, yeah. Ooh, little basket. Oh, these are cone filters. Does it matter that I got regular versus cone? I don't know. Now, this doesn't give like the tightest seal. I got this from Target. So I'm thinking because it's not a tight seal, maybe I'll just leave. <laughs> we oh man. Okay. So what I'm thinking since it doesn't have a tight seal instead of actually pouring this coffee out in there i'll just leave the coffee in the bag and then store the bag inside there maybe that's what we'll do is that what we want to do liam put that there put this here and then we'll just store the bag in here how does that how does that look it's not what we're going for was it 
said we have to use some of the coffee before we can use that apparently. Yeah, we have to use some first. So on that note, that there. This one, guys, I would say the last couple of nights, he's not really sleeping through the night like he was. He keeps waking up frequently or on and off throughout the night, maybe five to six times a night, but he's, he wakes up, he's fussing, he's crying. We walk into his room, put his binky back in his mouth and he goes right back to sleep, but we don't know why he's waking up so often. I don't know if that's technically the five to six month sleep regression that everybody talks about. But I don't know, because he does go right back to sleep, but he's not staying asleep, so. Don't know what's up with that. So we're not getting as much sleep as we were, but that's okay. You know what I actually wanted, and I almost picked it up the other day at Marshall's when we were out shopping, was one of those rotating things, and I almost got a marble colored one. It was really pretty, it was really heavy duty. That would have been perfect for the coffee station. And I was like, I just don't want to spend $40 on it, so I didn't get it. Maybe I'll find someone different or find a different one somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'll just bite the bullet and buy one. But it would come in handy, especially for, like, decor and just putting, you know, stuff on. It's just, it would look nicer, I think. All right, so actually I've changed my mind. I am just gonna pour the bag of coffee in here. It's not that bad. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be a super airtight seal, but at least the lid stays down. So we're just gonna pour. Oh my gosh, the smell. Okay, this reminds me, this is very nostalgic for me because it reminds me of my mom having like Folgers coffee in the morning and just bringing it back to old school drip coffee. It's just very simple. Got to do something with that cord back there, but I'm liking this. But the drawer underneath the coffee area pretty much had coffee, which this, if you guys remember, we found at Vero Beach and it has been sitting in there. Uh, we have measuring cups, more coffee filters, more measuring cups, more little whiskeys. There were cake cups in here, so I stored those away. And now I'm just going to vacuum these coffee grounds in here. And then we're going to get this station nice and organized. Oh, and I also added the kettle and I put the coconut oil back over there. And then we need to clean this mess. Okay guys, here it is. I'll definitely call it simple, simplified. I don't like it. I don't love it. I keep moving it around. I keep catty cornering that and just trying to make it look, I don't know. I don't. I think I am almost overthinking it. It's not even a big deal, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't love that. I definitely think I need a tier or one of those spinners and I think things would look a little bit more put together because right now, even if I remove the calendar, I just think, I don't know. It's so plain, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just, I think I could benefit even from like a two tiered spinner where I could place this on there and like little plants and a little something here and there, maybe a little decorative, a little, how many times can I say little if Larry was listening to me, he'd be yelling little in the background, but you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's missing pizzazz. It's missing a little something. So I need to find one of those two level tiers. We're going to put a mini plant, a coffee mug with a little spoon in it, the coffee, the calendar. I just think the area needs spruced up right now. It's a little too boring, I would say. Let me know what you guys think below. I mean, I definitely like it. I like the clean look, the simple look. I like that we're going back to just the drip coffee. I like that it's white and that it's bright but she's missing something. So we're gonna have to go on the hunt for one of those spinners. Definitely not in this video. I don't have time to like run out and go do that today, but we need to do that. I am dragging today, guys. I'm like, <gasps> the energy is not 
there. Um, I need to feed Liam. I need to pump. Actually, I'm going to have Larry feed Liam so I can pump. I'm going to drink some more coffee because, oh my gosh, I haven't finished my second cup of the day. And then I need to, I never pulled out the chicken for dinner. That's not going to thaw in time because it's already going on too. Oh, really quick. Let me show you guys what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Very cute Easter items. Look at these and they light up. It's a little mushroom and a gnome with some Easter eggs. So I got this one in blue and they're ceramic, I believe. And they light up. I think I said that already. I have a green one and a pink one. You guys, anything mushroom I'm obsessed with. Number one, you guys know I love mushrooms. Or if you don't know, I love mushrooms. I love eating mushrooms. So any mushroom decor, I'm all about it. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Of course, everybody in the world is also obsessed with mushroom decor, but that's okay. And I really wanted to get this mushroom garden item that I saw. Wow, our ice maker is like trying to take off to space or something in the background. But anyways, I saw this garden mushroom at Marshall's and I looked at it and I was like, oh, I don't need it. I'm not going to get it. And now I'm kicking myself because it was a really special mushroom and I should have gotten it. But Larry was like, well, no worries. We have to go out next week or this week. So why not? Well, maybe we'll stop by if the mushroom's still there, which I highly doubt it is because it was the only one there. Um, but that's, that just goes to show if you guys see something in the store that you really like, grab it because guess what it's probably gonna be gone the next time that goes with holiday decor too let me tell you it flies off the shelves also I bought this for Liam because you guys know we live in Florida I've been researching sunscreens for babies they say to kind of avoid sunscreen if you can and just use clothing to cover their skin but for those exposed areas Definitely tried to, but they also said avoid the face with sunscreen. But anyways, I've been researching sunscreens. I came across this brand, which is the Blue Lizard brand. I got it and whoo, that is the smallest little sunscreen. And now granted babies are small, but like guys, this is small and this was not cheap. Like, did I say this was not small? Anyways, this is small and the price tag was not as small. Uh, I'm like, okay, this better last a long time, but it kind of comes in like a deodorant stick, but it's a mineral sunscreen. It's sweat and water resistant. It's vegan, won't clog pores and it's skin nourishing. It's free of parabens, alcohol, gluten, fragrance, aluminum, artificial dyes, sulfate, silicones, and phthalates. So it's a great product, but whew, I don't know. Let me know. Have you guys used it? Let me know what you think. bib that's kind of important <laughs> they're um in the top right drawer yeah say we gotta get you a bib what's mama thinking oh look at this this is gonna be so yummy what happened to your book you want your hood off you want to play with him for a minute <gasps> wow i'm so excited i'm 
so excited for you. Say, Liam is six months old and two days. So we have officially been given the all clear to start solids. And we're gonna start off with the cereal. But it's like an oat cereal. I've mixed it with pumped breast milk. He's like, right, where's the food? I'm finally sitting up with the big kids. You finally getting to sit up with mom and dad. Are you ready? making a mess. Mommy has never done this before. Oh, do you like it? Here, let's do a small amount. Ready? Ready? Mm. <gasps> yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Like maybe. Sure on that one? <laughs> yeah, we digging it. Liam is now on day three of his cereal, which is going very well. He had a half a tablespoon with one ounce mixed in breast milk, and he finished the whole thing this morning, which was a first, because usually he, he wasn't finishing it. He is now, and he's doing really great with it. And we're gonna do four days of the cereal, and then we introduce a vegetable first, is what we're going to do. So... Yeah, just to make sure he doesn't have a reaction, that's what our pediatrician recommended is four days on each thing and then, you know, four days of broccoli. And then if he doesn't have a reaction, we're all good. We'll move on to the next. But yeah, it's been really fun. A lot of you guys were like, yeah, he's six months old. This is where it starts to get really fun. And not that, you know, zero to six isn't fun, but it's, I don't know, he's getting more interactive and he loves sitting up with us. Um, but anyways, guys, also side note, I never got to put up the heart garland maybe next year. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.